And welcome to 7A, a West Coast Swing podcast. I'm your host, Zatha Mayer, and we are joined once again with Sherry Lead. Welcome again. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm really excited to have this conversation with you. Oh, Because we're going to talk about me, right? Yeah! Okay, everyone <laughs> loves to talk about me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, what we didn't really, we touched on a little bit last time, but we didn't really dive into how we met. No, we so, did not. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to tell them how we met? Um, yeah. So there's this organization called Plymouth Housing, um, and okay, what they do is they kind of uh, they're a, don a donation. You probably know more information about. I'm just the dancer, um, but they are <laughs> they are an organization that kind of uh, creates a charity organization for uh, the the ho homeless. They build houses and they help help with that. And I one of the things they do, I think they're most profitable or most. Re donation ma made is the uh dancing with the stars like thing seattle you know, dances the, yeah seattle 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 dances like it's kind of like dancing with the stars where they hope mm -hmm. they bring a professional dancer okay and a celebrity influential person um okay to come is that you okay um to come to come and do and get um to come and dance and you were one of the contestants and i was one of the dancers and they paired us up they thought it'd be a good match and it was a fantastic match and yeah so i think we met uh, like briefly in december of last year and then mm -hmm. we it was very very important for you to make sure that we had our schedule kind of figured out because you were doing yes. some crazy uh, things. And I love schedules. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, the schedules are really good. And you were doing crazy things, like you were visiting every single state and traveling and going to Egypt and everything. And so we had to do it right now. Otherwise it would, mm -hmm. wouldn't get good. And that was like one of the most successful things i ever done because I'm more of like kind of a flow, see kind of how things have happen. And didn't happen that time. It was like, it was great. It was awesome. So, and you were fantastic. It was great and we were wrong thank you well I, you said so you said you said that uh it was a fantastic match and i agree with you but is so we didn't have any choice of what dance no to do there are all different dances i had no choice i couldn't pick the one that i thought like was i had no idea what west coast swing was actually and i thought it was something different until i got assigned that dance i started looking um, oh looking online i was like oh that's kind of a hot dance and and, yeah, and i yeah. got, and then i got my partner i was like oh well it's not bad on the eyes but we'll okay we'll see how this oh. goes oh, okay. <laughs> did i ever tell you that no no i don't think oh, you, i think okay. you did i think you said i had a nicely shaped head is that what i told you yeah <laughs> oh you you do you do okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. you have a nicely shaped head but you so you so the match was pretty good but what did you first think and I'm asking when the first time you saw me move, what were you could be honest oh, now? Oh, uh, well, we met first met at a Starbucks, and so the way you move told me that you're used to being athletic, but not like extreme ath athletic. Um, oh, I didn't expect you to say that. No, no, I it wasn't really bad, I didn't, but I didn't really have anything, anything. And then you started telling me about your injuries, and it's like, oh, yeah, so can... I'm basically a cyborg. I have a rebuilt right ankle. I have two hip replacements. Um, there's other body parts that aren't mine, but we don't have to. That doesn't affect the dancing. We won't talk about that. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and then the first time I saw you kind of dance, it was like. <laughs> I think that's the look you had on your face. <laughs> it was. I didn't even was... know what that look is. Okay, so the the nice answer is that I think we have a lot we have a lot of personality and we have a lot of, to give to the dance. And once we get the basics down, it's going to be fantastic. You'll be like, oh, sure. But it would take a while. And <laughs> you keep on going like this. What, what, what is, what is, um, what is... <laughs> It's like we're we're ruminating. You know, we have to kind of. It's going to take a while. And I didn't know if we had. Uh, like we had like three months to get there. Um, and so and we had to really perform immediately. And so it was more like I was going, I, it, it, it wasn't going to be a challenge, <laughs> you, you but it wasn't going to be nice anymore. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought, I, I thought, I thought, I didn't think it'd be like a challenge, but I didn't, I, I, I thought it, it, it was not going to be easy, easy. Um, well, it'd be for me, but not, but it would be like a little, little thing. And then we started dancing and <laughs> we still, you're still. <laughs> And there was um, some things that we needed to work on um, and some things like it was your it was basically you didn't know how to turn 
you know how to I'm turn. I'm directionally challenged. Yeah, so I would say turn left and you'd go the other direction. And I'd say, okay, mm -hmm. go the other direction and you go the same direction. And so that, yeah, that, was, that, was, that was a thing. So memory was a problem. Um, not a problem, <laughs> like a, a challenge, okay? Um, and unfortunately it was like a routine. But um, but no, yeah. So what I first thought about was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is gonna be fun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So is that so it was a little bit different because we were coming in and we had an event to prepare for as yeah. opposed to a new student coming into you. And if I was a new student just coming into your class, you wouldn't have had to go like this so much, right? <laughs> no, it'd be more like, yeah, <laughs> it'd be more like um your journey, your time, whatever kind of makes you happy. Journey with new students, it's more about like what they want in the dance. Sometimes people just want to kind of get some exercise, which is fine. Sometimes people want to kind of get good as fast as they can, but at their own pace. Um, Very rarely is there like, yo, you have three months to impress thousands of people immediately, and they're yeah. going to vote on whether they like, like you or not. Okay, so with money no. and that's the way with you're going to compete against people yes <laughs> yeah no it was it was um and i have never so just to give people a little bit of background and we'll go into this in the as far as you know preparing and how we got to this thing where right now you're trying to help me or you're helping me get ready for my first actual real life competition real life. um yeah. real life so we talked about my injuries and that i'm a cyborg mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we talked about my directional challenges yeah. uh also lots i have them. absolutely no what'd you say did you no say lot. lots of them <laughs> <laughs> okay um I, i'm gonna listen to this okay um and we talked about da, 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 da. oh also okay no dance background no performance no, no. background you asked me if mm -hmm. i've ever performed in front of anybody dancing and i'm like no except for I used to go to the club back in the day, but mm, no. Mm, um, mm, yes, mm. exactly. Uh, sober, no. Um, <laughs> and okay. Yeah, you and, asked me if I could. You could perform, uh, like I have a couple shots of tequila, yeah. and I was like, yes, no. And then you were upset. Yeah. And then yes. you did went to one social dance, I think, where you did have shots of tequila, and you came back the next night. It's like, you're right. It doesn't work. Yep. No tequila. Nope. That did not help the directional challenges. It didn't help my balance <laughs> or my rhythm. Um, it didn't even because at that point I knew that I didn't. I wasn't as cute as I usually normally think I would when I was would be drinking and dancing. But anyway, uh, yeah. No dance background. Uh, nothing. No performance background. And uh, fifty. I was fifty. I was fifty three already when I met you. I'm oh, going to be fifty. I'm, we're, I'm this competition that we're going to talk about preparing me for is going to happen one month before my 54th birthday. Wow. So uh, it's never too late. <laughs> no, no, it's never too late. Yeah. And we can talk of, and we'll talk about too, because uh, as I look on, like if, if I really like it and I want to keep on trying to get better and keep on trying to compete, I figure I'm going to be 90 by the time I get to the next level, but maybe not. No, no, not not with me as your teacher. So no, you're gonna make a joke like 85, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. I probably say like 50, easy 54, 55. I'm going to be 54 for um, yeah, in like a few, huh? Huh? yeah. So maybe by my 55th, that'd yeah. be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. At least it's totally fine. It's totally doable. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe that'll be a that'll be a goal. That would be um, a goal. Yeah. If you if you practice and you work hard and you stick with me, we'll, we'll do we'll do well. Oh, so really quick because I know we're gonna we're gonna probably wrap this part up and mm -hmm. and and give some give some cliffhangers maybe for the next uh, episode. Yeah. But when you say practice and work hard, well, work with you. Not everyone works, so I'm lucky there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, but practice and work hard. What does that mean? um west coast swing and dancing anything is just a skill and to get better at it you have to practice and you have to keep refining the skill um and so competitions are just basically where we watch everybody how much they how much how much they've uh, dedicated to that skill um a lot of people when they enter their competitions from what i see don't practice in the novice le level they just kind of do social dance and they do it for fun as you get higher up it's the more dedication the more people who put practice and put work, hard work into usually do better there's also talent and people who are just gifted at, at that as well um but generally it's more like how much you practice the basics uh how is your but, coach doing you well but yeah is but, it practice like 
practice every day. I mean, like, what do I practice? Like, practice an hour a week, practice every day, or does it just it does it depend on everyone? It depends upon how much you want to put into it, how much you want it. So, for example, if there was like the Olympics, I'm guessing the athletes mm -hmm. practice like eight hours a day. Um, and that's just what they was what they do. So when I'm getting ready for a competition for classic or so, it's about six hours a day. Um, and but if you're just kind of casual and you want like maybe practice 15 minutes once a week or so, then you will get that amount of that amount of effort put in. <laughs> Good. Okay. It's so you get yeah. what you give. Correct. Like a relationship. Yeah. That was, and sometimes it, it is abu sometimes it is abusive. Sometimes it is it's not really fair. <laughs> and sometimes people don't notice the things that you've been putting into. Um and then something to do. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get a little personal on this podcast. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. That's, that's the most fun kind of fun. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to talking to you about this journey and asking you all the questions I have as a newcomer coming into the West Coast swing world. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. When was my first time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll have to ask about your your first. Do you want to say it now? The first time you competed? First time I competed? Oh, um... I'd already done the ballroom thing already, so I was used to competitions a little bit. But it was yeah. at Easter Swing, I think, 2000. Don't need to get into it. Um, okay. <laughs> and yeah, I was just excited. Did you do well? I think I finaled. Um, I can pull it up right here. What was my first competition? I didn't place, <laughs> but I think I finaled. Um, that's, I think novice and intermediate is when I had the biggest head of like, I am God because I came from ballroom and I came from other stuff and I had, was on time mostly. Um, and so I was always, always doing well. And then advanced kind of kicked me in the shins. Um, ah. so, so yeah, so, but yeah, and it goes I, new newcomer, novice, new and they didn't used to have newcomer, but now they have newcomer, novice, and then intermediate, intermediate, and then all-star, and then, then advanced. champion. Is, oh. uh, newcomer, uh, newcomer, novice, intermediate, advanced, all-star, champion. Okay, and so you an are all an all-star, yeah. and I'm a newcomer. You are a newcomer. So actually, you're not actually you're not anything yet because you haven't competed yet. I'm not, okay. All right. Well, well, we'll make me something. Okay. Yeah. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you on the next episode and how how I can become something. Yeah, so a person, <laughs> a dancer. Perfect. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Here we go.